Hello guys. So this is my millionth attempt at making a 5x5 house. I've done one in the past before, but I literally deleted it because, dude, 5x5 houses are so weird because 5x5, right? You only get 5 units one way, 5 units the other way, and you gotta make it look unique because you don't want it to look like everyone else's house. But there's this, I feel like everyone in the Bloxburg community has done every single 5x5 house possible, so you know what? It's fine. Hopefully this is not the same as someone else's, so if it is, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to. The way I'm making it look unique is I'm using basic shit. Shapes. That is how we're going to make it look a little different. Also, hold on. I need to take off my coat before it like starts. Do you hear that? Before it picks up on the freaking mic because it did it last time and it was annoying. You can hear my chair. My loud, loud chair. Anyway, the day I'm filming this is Christmas Eve. It's 1.30 p.m. The day this will be posted, hopefully it'll be December. Wait, oh my God. This is gonna get posted on Christmas Eve. Guys! I gotta tell you my Christmas Eve plans. Okay, not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. I'm so dumb, bro. Okay, so for Christmas, oh my God, for New Year's Eve this year, I'm dressing up because guys, my goal in life is just to dress up and go out and take pictures and look cute. I don't really care like what the experience is. As long as I have on a good outfit, I'll have a good night. So I'm going to a cute, fancy restaurant with my friends and we're dressing up. But anyway, that is not the point of this video. There was like a topic I really wanted to talk about and it was like, it was last night at 1 a.m. I was scrolling through TikTok and I was like, you know what? I saw someone make a TikTok about robux and i was like oh my god i need to discuss and tell you guys the lengths that i used to go to to get robux okay let me tell you where this originated from so 2016 i started playing roblox and the first games i played natural disaster survival meep city right those are the first games and i distinctly remember i was playing meep city and i saw this girl walk out of like the little teleportation from her house to the main area she had on this pink sparkly dress and this blonde ponytail and at the time i had on the default black ponytail then the weird jean jacket you get for free so like I was a prime noob, right? And I saw her. My eyes stopped. Like imagine a man seeing like the most beautiful woman in the world. That was me. I was like, oh my god, she has a sparkly dress on and a blonde ponytail. Like this is perfect. I want this stuff. She looks like Barbie. So here's the problem, right? My parents have always told me we're not allowed to spend money on games. Like they would call it gambling. So like you're not allowed to spend any money on a game because eventually you're gonna stop playing the game and the money's just gonna be wasted, right? So I was like, how am I gonna get Robux to get this cute outfit? Because listen, here's the thing, right? Once an idea is implanted in my head it is not going away until it's done and i was determined to get robux so here this was what i did right so at school this was middle school it was in eighth grade we used to do all these like trading things so we would trade gel pens markers erasers like, super random stuff and i was like you know what what if i trade someone some gel pens for robux and then this is how i did it so that way my parents could make me refund it so my family we're an android dominated family like everyone used android at this time but we did have an ipad we had a very old ipad and if you get an itunes gift card it can only be used on the apple app store it can't be used for anything else and you can't return it after you get it because it's like a non-refundable item so what i did was i went to the store with my mom and i had her buy me a pack of gel pens i was like oh no i lost my gel pens like there's none left i need more so she bought me gel pens thinking they were for me so the next day i go to school and i made a deal with my friend i was like listen i'll give you this pack of gel pens if you get me a ten dollar apple gift card so we ended up doing a trade and that's how i got my robux right so i would do that like i would just trade random stuff but obviously like i couldn't go back to the store again and be like hey mom can i buy some more gel pens like no you can't do that i already did that once so it wouldn't work again so my birthday was coming up and i was like what's a gift my friends can give me that you can't return can't be refunded and my parents won't make me not use it because it's not technically gambling if i'm not the one paying for it so i told my friends i was like you know what all i want for my birthday is an apple gift card and a robux gift card so my friends bless their soul like they understood the assignment my mom she was not very pleased but for my birthday they all got me robux gift cards and and Apple gift cards. And I was like, yes, I can buy my outfits. I got more Robux. So that was literally how I got Robux to buy Bloxburg and get cute outfits. So like my eighth grade friends really had my back. I had to be so slick about it because it was so big in our house. Like we'd always have to keep the default stuff on games, which there's nothing wrong with having default stuff, but I'm a fashion girly, right? The most important thing when I'm playing a game, I play it if it looks aesthetically pleasing. And if I like the style of the character, for example, I'll play Valorant because I like the outfits they wear, but I've played Terraria once, but I didn't like the style of the game. So I was like, you know what? I can't play it. Minecraft, I liked it because you don't have to pay for a skin. You can make your own skin. So I would always make my own skins. So you'd look cute. And then same with Fortnite. You gotta make a cute skin. Well, you have to pay for it. So it's always in the back of my head. I'm like, don't spend money on games because that's just how I've been raised. But here's the thing, right? Moral of the story. It's not good to go behind your parents' back. But if it's like something harmless, like if you're just asking for a gift card for Christmas, it's fine. I think buying stuff for games, it depends on what it is. Like it's gotta be reasonable, right? Like an outfit is fine. But if you're spending like 
tens of thousands of dollars on this game that you're not even playing. For me, I gotta be playing the game for at least two to three months before I'll buy something so I know that I'll actually put my money into it like it's an investment. Because if I'm just gonna play a game, buy something, and then I never play the game again, then I feel like I wasted money. But yeah, um, I've been struggling with video ideas because I'm going on vacation soon and I need to plan videos ahead. So everyone pray that I can get videos done before I leave. And I just like, I don't know what to build. I don't know what to make a video of. So I'm, I've been trying to put some variety. And I haven't done a five by five house since I did a build battle in, it was in February or March. It was a while ago. I did look at some Sims builds for ideas because those Sim builders are ahead of time. Like they know what they're doing. They're pretty good at building. I always look for them for inspo. And then occasionally I'll check Instagram and Pinterest. Those are my BFFs. <laughs> Hello guys. It is now the day after Christmas and my GY is not loading. Okay, there we go. Guys, if you don't follow my TikTok, I have some news for you. I got the 10 piece lip gloss set and I have never been happier. Besides getting the 10 piece lip gloss set, the best Christmas present I got was from you guys and you guys were all just wishing me Merry Christmas. So thank you so much. I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas too. And I did see a few DMs on Instagram and I saw a bunch of YouTube comments. They were like, Merry Christmas, Noel. I hope you get your 10 piece lip gloss set. So thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are literally, oh, I'm gonna get too like emotional. I'm so grateful for you guys as my viewers, and, like my little family. I appreciate all the kind words and comments. It makes my day, so it means a lot to me. Since we have such a small space to work with, I think I'm gonna use basic shapes and do some sort of booth couch or something. Because I don't know, I've just been obsessed with boots lately. But I did see this Pinterest picture which gave me the idea. It was this color scheme. It just gives off such a warm, comfy aura. I'm gonna try to move towards some more warm-toned, multicolor. <laughs> Dude, it has been two weeks since our last final exam and some of my grades are still not even up. Like, what is going on? I think I'm gonna go for a boho pink and gold with some green. <laughs> also, dude, what is up with brands being so cheap nowadays? So first of all, one of my siblings got me a gift, which was an earring set. Basically, the two earrings were different. Like, they looked different. One was a dangly earring and the other was a dangly earring too, but it was smaller, kind of like a stud. So I open it and it was so cute. I love it so much. So I was putting it on to wear it and I was like, wait, this doesn't look right. Like, why is one, why do they look different? I know it's a style for sometimes for earrings to look different for like that offsetting, I don't know, mix match look. So then I was like, wait, but it doesn't look right. So I went on the website to see, you know, like, oh, is this how they're selling it? Like, is this the thing now? No, it is not how they sell it. You have to buy each ear set by itself. But here's the thing, right? Why would you put two? So one earring goes on your like regular earring and then the other one goes on your second piercing. But here's the thing, right? Why would you sell a first piercing? in a second piercing earring set and not do it for the other ear too because I don't like wearing earrings on only one ear. I feel like that looks off on me at least. It looks really weird when I do that because I'm probably just not used to it, but it just looked really, really off. So I was like, why Why are they selling it like that? And the thing was like this gift was a really thoughtful gift and it was not cheap whatsoever. So you literally have to buy two of it if you want the actual set. I was like, what? Although it was really cute and I think they're gonna probably do an end of the year sale because I know a lot of brands now are doing sales after Christmas to get rid of all their inventory and stuff so i'm gonna hope they do that and then i can get the other earring because you imagine me walking around with like one side of my ear all decked out and the other one's just nothing i feel like i would look so strange also let me tell you one thing right once you get sucked into using basic shapes you don't feel like your build is complete unless you use them i've run into this issue because now literally anytime i'm about to build something and i don't use a basic shape to make it i'm like oh this is gonna look so bad it's like an addiction once you're on it you can't stop and building with basic shapes dude oh my god so so tedious, so annoying, but it looks really good in the end. But it is literally, it is a problem. I'm a victim. So if you're gonna use basic shapes, be aware of the side effects. They do not go away. I mean, for most people, that would be a good thing that you always use basic shapes. But for me, cause I gotta upload weekly, I'm taking way too long on builds. And I have this mindset where it's like, I need to make sure it's perfect. Otherwise I won't upload it. So like too much time goes into these builds. But listen, if it looks good, that's all that matters. Hey guys, I forgot to tell you, I dropped new UGC. It is a bow earmuff. You should buy it. It comes in multiple colors. Okay, that's all. Link in description. <laughs> Plans have changed. We are no longer doing a booth because I just couldn't figure out what to do for it. But instead, I want to do a corner side kitchen island sort of thing where it could be used as a lounge area, but also it's for food since we're trying to do some compact living over here. I also use these pillows as a topper cushion for the chairs. Well, this isn't a chair. This is a table. Precision is so serious right now. I could put a bunch of plates underneath here since we want it to look really compact. I could make this the living room then and this the kitchen. I'm putting in decals right now, right? 
so I'll click on one and it'll go like this. So people keep commenting on my videos and they're saying, well, the decals don't work anymore, but they do work. They do work, okay? All you gotta do, just take the code. It still works. You just can't see the name of which decal you picked. So just make sure when you're putting it in, you click and go straight to that link and then copy paste the code. Otherwise you won't remember because I've been getting a little confused. I was putting some in and then I just like, I can't see what the decal is. So then I put the wrong one in, but it still works. She's feeling geometric today. That's for sure. Okay, so it still looks open concept and we're not suffocating the front door because it was like this before but now we have like this open you know the reason i'm putting this here is so that way i could put a table or something of the sort in this area where it's still separated so this oh wait i don't know if i'm gonna make this a living room or a kitchen wait i need a bedroom wait do i need to close it off if it's just a really tiny house i feel like i could just get away with making this still a bedroom right this could be a bathroom and then this could be the bedroom and the living room i did a bohemian bedroom in a tiktok hacks video so i kind of want to take that and then build it i save builds on instagram that i want to take inspo from so from this build i had like these ideas i think i'm just gonna rebuild this bed and then stick it in here <laughs> what if i just like shove the fridge in between the wall <laughs> there we go simple and listen it does not have to look functional because i I'm living in it which means it doesn't matter this is gonna be the bathroom i can literally like close this off in a corner i'm literally using less than five by five call me resourceful actually no i'm being unresourceful so in this part i was building a custom counter and then i did the bed and yeah so that's all i was doing in this clip it took me 30 minutes like what what is she doing why am i slow i recorded myself building the entire counter and then i realized i actually hit pause on this part so it was completely cut out but it was all structural i just drew little squares and it looks a lot nicer as a counter than the default ones and then here i am trying to find a matching mirror for the bathroom because it is so important that we match the aesthetic of the house so i went on a deep dive on pinterest and i found this cute heart mirror i took it in photoshop removed the background and uploaded it to roblox as a decal boom and now we have a custom mirror <laughs> Hello guys, it is now the 27th of December and we have made some crazy progress within the day. Like this is record breaking, right? I worked on the bathroom a bit. Um, there is no toilet because I choose not to have a toilet, okay? I was going to get Dr. Pepper, right? And I clicked to go to the machine because it's like a fountain and water comes out of it. I asked for Dr. Pepper, not water. That was very upsetting. So I have a Sprite instead, but it just, it doesn't hit the same as Dr. Pepper, you know? Like I, I want Dr. Pepper. Anyway, guys, we need to discuss like what is going on. So as a YouTuber, right you have to file taxes okay so i was calling up a person to file my taxes and you got to tell them you're self-employed and you're a youtuber or whatever the dude on the phone was like oh yeah i've heard of you before like how do, how do you know i'm a youtuber i just don't tell people but some reason people will always approach me and be like aren't you that youtuber in college bro people will come up to me and be like wait aren't you the youtuber i'm sorry how how did you get this information i feel like i probably told one person and then they told everyone it's just like how do these things spread I guess I have a small town, so everyone kind of knows each other. But how, how does a grown man, accountant, know that? How do you know that? So that was really strange to me. I was like, wait, what? And it's like always the most random people that I've never spoken before to. They'll just come up to me and be like, you're a YouTuber. I'm like, how, how do you know that? Where did you receive this information? Like, who is doing this campaigning for me? Like, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for spreading the word. I think it's a cool conversation dropper. Like, say you're on a first date with someone and they're like, so what's your job? I'm a Roblox YouTuber. Like, boom, mic drop, walking out. Like, the bar is crazy. Like, imagine flexing. Just being like, I'm a Roblox YouTuber. That's like the, the craziest flex, right? But people are flexing it for me. Like, let me flex it. Like, let me. Let me like whip out my Uno card and be like, I'm a Roblox YouTuber, you know? But it's being done for me, which is rather strange. I also wonder if people near me watch my videos because sometimes I'll talk about personal stuff and I just wonder if someone that I know watches my videos and like, oh shoot, she just talked about me. That's why sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant about what I say because I have really funny stories about people around me from like high school and stuff. But what if they pull up a video and then hear me talking about them? That would be so strange. But then again, I don't think they would care. <laughs> okay, so these two rooms have different floor colors. So I'm kind of contrasting the accents. Here is the dark brown floor with the light brown wood and then over here has light brown wood with dark brown accents, if that makes sense. Just to put separation of the room, since it's so tiny and compact, I still want the house to feel, you know, split by different areas. We're gonna call this my warm up build into Valentine's Day, because oh my god, when the update comes out, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go crazy with builds if I can finish at least more than one. I hope so, because I have so many good ideas. All of my desks that I do are oriented towards fashion design. <laughs> Not a bad thing. I mean, you could do student desks, but I love. Uh, fashion designer desk. They're so 
cute. Dude, I've been really thinking about it, and one day, I really hope that I can make my own fashion design company. Like, that would be so sick. I always use the back of the house as my storage unit, so, like, what is going on over here? I'm lacking so much lighting in this house. I keep getting so sidetracked, bro. It's so preppy in here. Nice. I'm sure you guys know, but New Year's is coming up. A lot of people have been asking me, what's your New Year's resolution gonna be? I'm not one of those people who make resolutions because for me, I don't like to wait till a new year to start a goal. I like to just do it when I want to. So for example, last year my goal was I wanted to start uploading consistently. I didn't wait for it to be 2020 whatever to start uploading. I was just like, you know, I'm gonna do it. So I think that's the issue with New Year's resolutions is the fact that people will just wait around for it to turn New Year's. And then when it actually comes to that time of actually doing the resolution they just like don't have the motivation because they put it off for so long for me i stopped going to the gym for a while because i just got really busy with school and then i was like you know what i want to start going to the gym again so i just i just went i wasn't gonna wait until 2024 to start doing it again you know so i feel like the faster you follow up with your plan the more effective it is but also that could just be a me thing i don't know but what are your guys's resolutions too i would say my only goal for this year is just to stay uploading which is kind of like a given other than that there's always room for more improvement so as i said before like i go to the gym and stuff it's always the same people i usually see because you know regulars go like every few days a week and that sort of thing but when new year's hits it's so funny because people will come for that week and then by the end of the month they're gone so last year i went on a vacation it was in the middle of january so when i left for this vacation which is like january 5th or 6th there was a lot of people going to the gym which is great and then i come back from my vacation it was around january 12th 13th and by the time i got there everyone that i saw that was coming that was new they were gone. I was like, oh, what just happened? So I say, if you're gonna go to the gym, just go right when you think of it. Like, go the next day. Don't keep putting it off, because the more you put it off, the more you're not gonna go. And listen, I am no gym rat. I just go to feel better about myself mentally and all that stuff, and it helps a lot. All right, watch this. We're gonna make a fake makeshift toilet. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's your toilet. In this kitchen, right, I don't want to put big clunky appliances, because everything in here is custom basic shape, so everything's really tiny and a lot thinner than the default things that Bloxburg gives you. So, my idea is, because I don't want to spam with just a bunch of framed decals and post-it notes, because that's just- I don't want it to look cluttered, right? Because this is supposed to look similar to a natural, botanical type of house. So, what I'm gonna do- As you guys know, I love LED decals. They make really good decals for realistic builds or just, you know, cohet sort of things. So, I found these two decals. I feel like I could put them scattered all over here as part of the wall to fill in the space, because there's just a lot of blank white space here, just because this backsplash wall is also a solid color because I don't want to do a pattern. Instead, we're just going to fill it up with these roses. I hope it's going to look good. Does that look more complete now? I think for just random little details, I'm going to put the flower scattered every so often around the house. Oh my god, <laughs> the inside's done. Listen, I love snow as much as the other person, but for this build, we do need regular grass. What the heck? Why is it such a weird texture? Should I be scared? Dude, <laughs> what is going on? Why does the grass look like that? Okay, we're just going to ignore the grass for now and pretend it's normal. The house is fine finally done. I don't even want to tell you how many hours it took because this time I actually recorded everything. Well, there were some parts where I kind of paused because on my recorder, you can pause, right? Like, let me show you. So right here, as you can see, you could pause. I forgot I had to unpause it. So there was like 30 minutes missing, but the total amount of footage I have is eight hours. Hey, listen, for a five by five, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I actually did this in a kind of timely manner. This took me about three to four days, which is pretty good for a five by five. That's good. I was freaking out. I was like, oh no, how am I going to finish this? Before my trip, I gotta plan videos. Like, I gotta do this quick. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the interior, dude, this could be one of my best interiors. And I know I said that before, but I think this might top it because I did a lot more creative stuff. But anyway, let me show you the outside. So the outside kind of has like a geometric sort of design. It's not really a frame, but it's got that modern look. And then I added these basic shapes to make it look a little more unique because five by fives are pretty similar. I did a little bit of gardening over here. So we have stepping stones and then neutral pastel plants to go with the house theme. But anyway, let's go inside. This color scheme is so cute. It's kind of similar to my other ones, but a lot more muted and neutral. So she's a little different this time. But I did take the shoe rack design from my last build, the Christmas one. And instead of presents, well, I did put a present, but I put shoes too. I did an elevated floor stepping thing. I'll just go this way. So this is the bedroom. It's very cute, cohet, Lana Del Rey vinyl, you know. So the inspiration for the bed was I took it from a bohemian bedroom concept I did a while ago because I was kind of using a lot of things that were in the bohemian style originally. 
Valley. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna use that, but I wanna change the color. So I kind of did like a ice cream sandwich color scheme. So we got some pinks, blue, and brown. And then over here we have this cute desk with the cabin lighting. I don't know, I'm so obsessed with fashion recently. I did another fashion designer's desk, but this one's a lot more compact and this is actually made with basic shapes. So hey, that's pretty cool. I did put a decal carpet as like the top placemat for the desk. So it just looks a little more unique. And yeah, we just have fashion decals, some wallpaper, and some custom plants. Although, dude, this one is sticking out. I need to fix that. Hold on. And the thing is, I already took my pictures of this house for Instagram, so I'm gonna have to, like, fix that. There is no living room because it's five by five, and listen, we're going for style instead of functionality because I'm not actually gonna use this house. It's just for design. Since I have all the footage, I can upload it as a speed build, so I'm probably just gonna cut whatever I didn't do because I literally changed my mind about 5,000 times. But anyway, we have this flower decal I got from Ellie's decals. You can check out their inventory of decals. They have the best stuff. And then over here is the closet coat hanger sort of thing since, you know, we're in a small space so you can't really make a closet, but you can hang stuff on here even though you can't actually hang stuff, but you know, for imagination purposes. We have the Mew Mew shoe decal because fashion. And I really like this light because it just goes with the whole warm cohet vibe. This is the kitchen. Everything here is basic shapes. So I made, it's like a stool sitting area bar for your kitchen, but also it's gonna be used for storage. So we have all the cups and plates down down here for compactability because a really long time ago I had this Lego set from Lego Friends. It was an RV and they had this sort of contraption. There was empty space over here so I decided to add a fridge spot and then a pastry spot which actually turned out really cute. And then we have this indentation in the wall and then I just put some decals over here. I just put this light here because we need to fill up the space. Over here is the fridge. I literally shoved it inside the wall because I didn't want it to take up space. And then up here is, you know, those juice containers. Because right here, this unit wall, like I'll just zoom in, is being used to, <laughs> to hide the fridge and for my cabin lighting so that was my hidden mess area but then we have this cute little door to the outside cute backyard the bathroom let's just take a moment we have a custom counter what is she on like who is she literally no furniture in here and then we have the very adorable shower with this arch i love these archways they're so cute i've been kind of obsessed with them you can see them literally in every part of this house and then i uploaded this mirror it's got hearts so you know it adds to the cute little cohet lana del rey vinyl i love this house it's literally a five by five house and it's 105k i fear i might have an issue you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this build and check out the bow earmuffs I'm literally wearing them right now. Like look how cute. I'm wearing the pink ones. They're so adorable Check them out link in description and I will see you guys next week because we do not miss a week of uploads next year 2024 we're gonna have 52 uploads once a week. Yeah, that should be right. Anyway. Bye guys. I love you You know you love me XO, XO. French roses girl